Good morning, noon, and night. Taps here, and we're gonna check out an indie horror game called Darkwood. Now, I actually did just open this up, but I had a bit of a recording issue here, so we're gonna be running through it. All I did was go through the prologue, and I can tell you, yes, it is creepy. <laughs> Very creepy. So we're going normal difficulty, we're not skipping any prologues. It does take it a few moments to generate the world. I just ran through that little intro. Uh, essentially, what got me interested in this game is it's a survival horror. So you have to build up resources, you have to upgrade your weapons, you have a crafting menu, and you have your own home base too that you have to make it to each night. So it's got some Minecraft elements, some Don't Starve elements, and then it's also got the horror aspect. Which, as you can kind of see here by the imagery, is definitely creepy. A couple of minutes there, because we went through all that. As soon as it'll get his. Alright, here we go. All I see is fear and hatred in their eyes. As if I was the one responsible for the spreading plague. As if I was the source of all the plagues in this land. But I don't have anywhere to hide, nowhere to run. The woods have devoured all the exits. Stuck with them. Wicka, 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 wicka. Alrighty. Well, wasn't that creepy as hell? Don't worry, it gets worse. <laughs> Alright, so we got some pills, got a notepad. It's completely empty. Excelente. And, best of all, an alcohol distiller. Just what I need in this nightmarish hell. Potatoes. What? The only thing that grows in this land end is edible. Alright, let's open her on up. Okie dokie. Got some creepy cages. Uh, some nice blood stains. I like that. No, I mean, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. So, what the fuck? Fucking knocking. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Check this out. There's fucking knocking, right? I spent too much time to lock him in there. Yeah, there's a fucking guy in there. That's right. I mean, I jokingly said this guy probably just works at Macy's, but let's be honest. He, he's probably a murderer. Or at least a serial kidnapper. There's been radio silence for years. Although sometimes I can hear voices among the noise. Well, that's great. I hope they're friendly voices. They're probably not. Alcohol, we're gonna need a lot of that. A medical book. Detailing his... his... skin acne. Gross. What kind of fetish is that? Oh shit, what the fuck? No, stop that. No. No radio. That still scared me, and I even heard it before. <laughs> I'm telling you, this game is pretty creepy. I mean, just look. Look around. It's, it's fucking gross in here. Someone needs to clean up. Okay, so that place is locked. Alright. Let's get the fuck out of here. And uh, open up my door. Journey into the... What the... Is that a, is that a dying dog? Alright, well, I'm gonna head back in. No. Alright. Anyway, and I want to point this out, there's a... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, another thing we should notice, look. You can only see the dog when you're looking at him. You have a specific line of sight. Scary? Not scary. Scary? Not scary. Actually, it's all pretty scary. My dog. I don't think he's going to make it. I should end his suffering. Yeah, we really should. A large humanoid doll with a cut-out face. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, that's healthy. Oh, look at that. Daily newspaper of the Polish People's Republic. Oh, I love that edition. 
it's it's all hilarious about you know haha -ha. I was gonna make a, a a World War II reference but I thought maybe maybe it's too soon maybe 50 years in the future no 60 years now is too soon oh and you can't go into the woods either you can't just go running off and frolicking out there picking whatever mushrooms you find because there's murderous things out there that will kill you don't worry, I'm coming back for the dog. Well, there's an axe over here. Turns out... And this is about as far as I got, actually. I just got to the axe part. So... I'm gonna open up our menu. Equip this axe, and let's end his misery. Poor boy. I'm not gonna name him, because it would just make it sadder. So I'm just gonna call him Doggo. Poor Doggo. I'm gonna cut open your head, Doggo. Oh my god. Still very loud. And very disturbing. Let's continue getting the fuck out of here. I like that idea. Alright. Uh, okay, broke the tree. Wonderful. Ooh, a bear trap. Ooh, a dead cow with a tibia missing. Ooh. Ooh, piece of candy. That's not candy. That's murder. Alright. Let's run the flip over here. A path. Nice. A nice little friendly. Not creepy at all. Not haunting in any manner. Path. The woods have devoured all roads to the outside world. No one was able to slip through this thicket. Oh, you fucking ass. God, they scared me last time, too. Last time I was in the middle of reading. <laughs> fucking ravens. Alright. <laughs> so we found the fallen tree. So, what we're gonna do here... We're gonna climb up to this here campfire or whatever. Grab some planks and crap. And then we are going to take a break. Alright? Thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next roundabout.